Hey guys, Master Thinkin here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so I'm continuing this uh, new series I posted about it on Twitter and on the uh, community tab on the channel so uh, I do appreciate all of the people who responded to that um, but we're starting off a new little series where I want to go through some of these category stages of Super Battle Road and uh, use some slightly different teams like using the uh, different categories that you can run full teams under so for example yesterday we put out the video of doing final trump card with the um, full extreme team the cooler transformation boost slash terrifying conquerors and uh, today we are doing the result the winning result of the poll um, that i put up earlier which is final trump card again but with a realm of gods team so as you can see they're both on rotation unfortunately but we have the double zamasu leads um, so yeah, good thing we used the Whis here, because uh, I was wondering if uh, how lucky we were going to get with only normal attacks coming to uh, Vegito Blue. But unfortunately, he didn't uh, get any additional super attacks. But crit counter done some decent damage to Turles. Um But yeah, so we're using Realm of Gods doubles and Masu leads. Um, now, in order to run a full Realm of Gods team that are all final trump card units. Uh, we are using both of the five-year fusions on the team. Now, obviously, the five-year fusions technically are the actual category leaders for um, Final Trump card. But the... Uh, hmm, how do I want to do this? Yeah, probably probably like this. Because, yeah, Vegito is going to be on rotation with Vegito next turn. So that's kind of what I want. Um... So yeah, let's go for you. Unfortunately, the uh, Merge Zamasu is nerfing these guys. But but yeah, so this is a stage that I know people do have trouble with. Um, and even if you have the five-year fusions, they're not necessarily the best units for Super Battle Road because obviously their defense is not anything too crazy, especially in the early turns. Um, and of course, the main thing is their leader skill is lower. So even if you do have one or both of them, their final trump card leader skill is only 150%. Whereas obviously this Zamasu is giving 170 to attack and HP. A little bit less to defense, but obviously doing more damage means you can get through the enemies quicker. And honestly, having more HP overall is slightly better than just having more defense. Because certain units... Just having that little bit of extra defense from the leader skill is still not enough to like make them tank damage well. Like units that are going to take 50 to 60k from normal attacks are still going to take around 45 to 50 just with that slightly extra bit of uh, defense from the leader skill. So having the more HP is definitely uh, more useful. Um, so the only downside I think to this particular version of the team is uh, there aren't a lot of units on the team that are super tanky. So this is definitely not a version of the team that you could use to get, say, a no items run. Um, but obviously most people aren't really that bothered about that. Like these kind of videos are more to give people different ideas of teams that you could use if you're not able to get it done currently with just like a straight up final trump card team. So this gives people more options. Like the one yesterday with the cooler team was a very good example because obviously some people um, just don't have um, a good like set of super type units. Like I know a lot of people do favor the extreme type units and like level them all up first and all that kind of stuff. So if you have a really good cooler team, then yeah, you can get this stage done using that team. So. Hopefully this uh, series will give people some interesting ideas. Plus a few people have suggested some really fun sounding ones that aren't necessarily uh, like necessarily making the run easier than using a normal team. But they're certainly an interesting new way of doing it, which I think would make for a fun video. So I have been noting down all of the suggestions that you guys have been giving. Feel free to leave more in the comment section as well for this video. Um, but yeah, we've definitely had some interesting ones. The second place one in the poll uh, was doing Goku Family with just a hybrid Saiyans team. Um, so we'll probably get that one done uh, fairly soon. And then yeah, start on the uh, other suggestions. So make sure you let me know down below uh, what kind of thing you would like to see. So um, Right, so we'll get you to deal damage to you. We definitely need to use an item here because... Uh, Merge Zamasu, not the best tank. And if he gets super attacked in that slot one, he's definitely going to take a lot of damage. 
Uh, I didn't check the links on the friends of Marsu. Yeah, unfortunately, he's all ones. Um, as you can probably imagine, at this point in the game, it was very difficult to find a friends of Marsu. I had to hop in and out a couple of times to actually find one. And yeah, of course we get super attacked. Why not? Wow, still 234k with an item active. That's actually uh, quite crazy. But yeah, of course he had to super attack in slot one. Because why not, right? <laughs> so AGL Zamasu should finish him off. I probably should have retargeted him because of the type disadvantage. But I, I was hoping the combo of those two together would finish him off. And then uh, Blue Gogeta can do some damage to you. I'm not sure if we actually finish him off this turn. But then Gogeta gets the additional. So I think we should be all good. And obviously the uh, LR fusions work well in Super Battle Road in slot 3. Because obviously they have that built in chance to dodge when you're using them in the third slot. Which can be helpful in terms of defense. So yeah we used quite a few items in that first one. But we are going to be moving on here. We'll obviously start off with another damage reduction item. Um, see with all the STR attacks feel like maybe it makes more sense to do this. But you watch. We'll get super attacked anyway on uh, Vegito Blue, I'm sure. But let's do this. And then I guess we should really target you. And then even though you're effective anyway, we'll go for you. So let's see. What do we want to use here? Probably just an Icarus. I mean, we'll still take quite a lot of damage from super attacks. But I don't really want to double up on the items here if we don't have to. So let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully we should be good here. We're going to do a pretty decent amount of damage with Vegito. Um, my Vegito has three dupes in him now. Um, so obviously he is pretty strong at this point. I haven't really link leveled him though. So he's not uh, making full advantage of the links. Uh, same with, funnily enough, even though he's so high up on the tier list of units in the game, I haven't properly started leveling the uh, physical Vegito Blues links. I think some of them are leveled up a little bit, but nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. So, but yeah, I think we definitely, uh, we definitely die here if Vegito Blue takes a super attack. But he at least got some additionals there, so his uh, defense here should be pretty good. Um, Seriously though, if the STR Evil Boo super attacks here after we put purposely put him in the middle because of all of those attacks in slot 1. That is a lot of damage that we've done to Fat Boo this turn though. That's very good. Okay, whew, good. <laughs> Alright, because now, even though the Icarus is still going to be active next turn, uh, now we definitely will heal up. So, it'll be Android 8 next turn. Um, I guess I probably should have attacked Fat Boo because Gogeta would have taken him out, I think. So yeah, my Zamasu, I have been leveling his link, so he's looking pretty good. Haven't really done the uh, merge Zamasu though, unfortunately. So go ahead and do this. So it's not ideal him having to take hits from the uh, Tech Boo, but at least uh, he does have damage reduction. So go ahead and do this. This is where not targeting the fat boo with Gogeta is going to come back to haunt me because he's going to super attack uh, Zamasu in this first slot here. I can feel it. It's the typical super battle road scenario. So let's go ahead and do this. Fortunately, yeah, there you go. Straight away. Slot one, first attack. <laughs> so this will do a lot of damage because the Android 8 Oh, never mind. Oh, of course, Zamasu, uh, Merge Zamasu is giving him a ton of extra um, defense. And the Icarus is still active. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I forgot it was still turn two and we doubled up. See, that's the thing. I don't normally double up on the items uh, if I can help it. But, yeah, they, we, we kind of had to heal there. So, uh, yeah. I was, I was shocked for a second that it did such little damage. And then I realized we were still on turn two. Because unfortunately, in that scenario, with the type disadvantage super attack, if we'd actually only had an Android 8 active, then uh, oof, that would have done a lot of damage. I imagine it probably would have been an almost instant KO, but there you go. <laughs> we pull through. Um, okay, so we've got both of these guys on rotation, which is not ideal. Um, hmm... Because, yeah, Gogeta, I don't really want Gogeta getting hit by uh, Goku Black at all if I can help it. But 
Maybe this would be a good enough idea for this turn. But I'm going to go ahead and do this, because this seems like the ideal way to start here. So we'll go after you. And then if we get both Gogeta and Vegito Blue in the last slot here to attack Zamasu, then depending on how uh, physical Vegito Blue wants to do here with his RNG, this could be uh, a very good turn in terms of how much damage we do to Zamasu. And at least Goku Black Super attacked Vegito and not Gogeta. I'll happily take a uh, type advantage super attack. But yeah, I don't want... Uh, I did not want Gogeta getting hit by that whatsoever. So double attacks from Vegito. Pretty decent damage. Oh, okay. Triple super. Let's go. So that's the uh, one from his passive and the hidden potential one. Very, very good. Uh, so yeah, half of uh, Goku Black's HP in slot one. That's... Uh, that's what we like to see. And just a casual 3.2 million attacks that on Gogeta. My Gogeta has two dupes. Uh, he's one behind the Vegito. Um, but yeah, decent damage to Zamasu. Ooh, 46, and that's from him. So Goku Black's going to do what? 84. That's with a Whis active as well. That's crazy. I mean, you can kind of see why people uh, struggle a little bit with this stage. It's not the easiest one for sure, but... We could take out Zamasu here. Come on, give me give me crit counters. Right here. Take him out. Oh, well, there you go. No crit needed. And uh, Goku Black's already super attacked. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. So I think, actually, we're now in a position, thanks to uh, those crits from Vegito Blue, uh, we are in the position where we just win this turn now, I'm pretty sure. So what is Mojo Zamasu's defense? Only 56. Yeah, see, AGL Zamasu's only at 63, but... He does at least have some damage reduction. But I think the type advantage is probably better here for slot one. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, when, actually, yeah, if I grab these, we'll just connect you guys. Yep, so we can get a super for you. And then I'm just going to use this for uh, safety's sake. You definitely don't want to be getting to this point in the final fight and then just die. So, uh, yeah, that should be all good. <laughs> get the level three dodge. Okay, so we take no damage in slot one. And then 2.4 million for him. If he doesn't take him out here, I'm pretty sure AGL Zamasu will just finish him off. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Get that additional normal in there. And this is my Zamasu as well, so he's rainbow. His links are pretty high. So, of course, of course he survives. All right. <laughs> so, using the Princess Snake was probably a good idea. 70 damage. Okay. And then uh, Super Saiyan Gogeta can just come in here and finish him off. So there you go. It wasn't the smoothest run by any means, but we didn't use all of our items. So it wasn't a uh, proper struggle to the finish at the end there. But there you go. That is another way to get the final trump card stage of Super Battle Road beaten by using a full Realm of Gods team. A unit I did want to give an honorable mention to actually, because obviously Global, we're still waiting for his easy A. But if you're missing one or both of the LR fusions and you need to sub somebody else in, once uh, God Topo finally gets his easy A, he will be a really, really good unit for this team because he's solid enough on his own and he's a really good support unit. Um, but obviously, unfortunately, pre easy A, he is, uh, yeah, he would get absolutely destroyed in Super Battle Road. But once he gets his easy A, he'll be a good sub to add on to this team as well. So. There you go. That was final trump card with the Realm of Gods team. As I said already, let me know down below in the comments section any ideas that you guys have for stages that you want to see beaten with uh, different categories or even just fun like theme teams. And yeah, should be quite a fun series of videos. So let me know what you guys think down below. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to my dis uh, Discord in the description. Feel free to join in the fun over there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.